Google Ads custom segment audiences. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through what exactly custom segments are in your Google Ad account, why you might consider setting these up and using these audiences, and then I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how you can create these custom segments. So definitely stick around through to the end of the video. And if you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. Let's go do this. So what is a custom segment audience? Essentially, it's an audience of people or a pool of people which you tell Google that you wanna build around certain types of keywords that you think your target audience is using or URLs that they may be visiting that you can then use that audience in your display campaign, discovery or your video campaign. So it's not like Google search. Get out of the mindset of a Google search campaign where you're bidding on keywords when people are actively searching for it at that instant. This is different. This is building an audience of people who have used that at some point in their browsing history. They're not currently on Google searching for it right now. They've used it in the past and they're, you know, reading some article on the on um on you know on a website or they're you know browsing YouTube, but they've you know they've shown an interest in your type of product or service. And so you tell Google, I want you to create an audience around all these different types of keywords, all these different types of you know my competitor websites that they might be visiting, and then you are sort of doing that interruption marketing as they're browsing the web. A quick Google search shows you here this is a the help article on custom segments by Google. And as you can see here, it's for your display discovery, Gmail and video campaigns, and you enter relevant keywords, URLs and apps. So for example, if I wanna build an audience around people who might be interested in learning how to create a retargeting campaign on Google and Facebook, because I have a course on that, as you can see here. So I could then create a custom segment audience for people who are searching for, you know, how to create a Google retargeting campaign, how to create a Facebook retargeting campaign, how to create a YouTube retargeting campaign. And when they're browsing the web, then I can target them. So now, how do you create a custom segment audience? Here in my live Google ad account, you'll see I've gone straight into tools and settings and under shared library I've gone into audience manager. When I go into audience manager, I just go into this custom segments here. And as you can see here, I already have some custom segments that I've already made previously, but in, th in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So we just click on this plus blue button to create custom segment audience. And then I'm going to give my audience a name. So let's just call it retargeting challenge. And then here is where I need to choose to include people with the following interests or behaviors, people with any interest or purchase intentions, or people who search for any of these terms on Google. So actually that's what I really want. So I'm gonna add in, um, you know, uh, retargeting campaign. I'm gonna learn how to spell. It's going retargeting ads. It's gonna give me some ideas. So maybe, uh, retargeting campaign, uh, Google Ads campaign. I wanna add in this retargeting campaign anyway. Uh, Facebook retargeting, Google retargeting. Let's do Google Ad campaign, Google Ads marketing, create Google Ads account. And, and obviously they're giving me ideas. Uh, Google Ad account, let's just type in Facebook ad. Uh, maybe ad manager, business manager. So really I'm creating very broad keywords that really would deem somebody who's interested in advertising generally online, be it Google, be it Facebook. And obviously I can also add in YouTube ad uh, information because my course covers um, how to create a retargeting campaign on YouTube. And then we can go here. So don't think of it, as I said, like Google search. This is not a Google search campaign. This is building an audience of people who are interested in what I wanna be, the advertising online, that the subset of them might also be interested in retargeting ads. So you wanna put in as many keywords as you possibly can that would still be closely related to what they're doing. And the more the better. And you can also expand your segment here by, by including 
people who go to certain websites. So here I can put in some competitor websites like maybe uh, Digital Marketer, which is a pretty big website. And I can put in a whole bunch of other URLs uh, as well. And as you can see here, it is giving me some insights into the type of audience that this, um, you know, that I'm building. So it's, uh, you know, almost 70% male between these age, age groups. And um, yeah, so I could check that to see if that sounds about right. And I could also expand it further for the people who use certain types of apps. So really start do this for your own account, put in as many keywords and URLs as that would still make, make it relevant, but not, you know, going beyond what would be your target audience. And then you click save. And as you can see here, this is my newly created audience. It is still under approval. Once it is eligible, then I can look to use it, as I said, in my display, discovery, Gmail or YouTube campaign and see how it performs. I could possibly use this custom segment audience and combine it with another segment audience, be it another custom segment audience or maybe one of my retargeting audiences as well. And really that's up to you whether you decide to do that. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to create a custom segment audience. And hopefully you have a better understanding of what custom segment audiences are as well. If you like this video, check out our website, teachtraffic.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos. Thanks for watching.